So people ask me <clears throat> as though it's some kind of just uh, easy thing to put down. Like there's some technique that you can do to make you not like chase female attraction or make you not be affected by it. Okay, this is something that's been going on for centuries. Centuries. This software program, it's in our DNA, it's in our genetics, gets downloaded every time there's a baby. So that's how creation sustains itself. The guy likes the girl, the girl likes the guy. And then they get sexually activated. And then you want to have a baby. Well, Sometimes they don't want to have one, but they end up having one, okay? This is the whole play <clears throat> of this sexual attraction. So you can't, you know, you can't just say like, like you're, you're trying to quit chewing bubble gum or something, you know? Like, what's the technique? Oh, I can chew sunflower seeds instead. Good. This doesn't work like that. <clears throat> also, you got the dopamine hit. That's part of the software too. It's like the universe... Otherwise, that's part of the whole attraction game. If we didn't feel some kind of dopamine hit or some pleasure when the girl looks at us or gives us that attention, then what would it matter? You see how deep, like, th that this whole thing's a big computer game? <clears throat> the human the human bots and then this, this cre creation called life. It's a very advanced, sophisticated computer game. It's like The Matrix, that movie. Is, it did a pretty good job trying to depict that. That's what it is. So all these, all these software programs and associated software programs make all this, this, this whole thing look really real. So when a girl looks at you, smiles, you get a dopamine release. Ah, oh, that felt good, damn. I wanna do it again because it doesn't last. It only lasts a few seconds. <clears throat> now, the people that become more addicted to this are those who and see, this stuff doesn't solve your problem, okay? So it's just, it's just maybe then you can say, oh, okay, I get it, okay. But it doesn't, it doesn't like make it go away. It's like if we grew up without a mom that was too affectionate or a more masculine type energy. And uh, we, we, we just have had a female deficit of energy in our life. So we're gonna be, we're gonna be a little more hungry for that female attraction. <clears throat> People that have low self-worth, insecurity, think you're not good enough. You have emotion, emotional, you know, trauma. So your feelings are more kind of heavy in life, depressed and sad. And, you know, you don't, you don't have a lot of vitality. Plus, you, don't, you didn't get a lot of female attention or energy from growing up. Those people, yeah, you're going to those are usually the ones that go out and pay you know they're just like man i'll pay for it just please somebody pay attention to me a girl can you can you act like and if you're a really good liar and make me and, and, and a good actor i'm gonna like go to you all the time there's a guy that was addicted to he was married but he was he, he couldn't stop going to these chat rooms and uh he felt like he wasn't, his mind justified. He said, well, I'm not cheating on my wife. I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, she's in the computer. I'm not doing anything. But he spent hundreds and thousands of dollars on that. You imagine? Why? Because he wasn't, there's multiple reasons. But number one, him and his wife obviously weren't getting along. There wasn't matching chemistry there. See, these type of people we attract, did I say we? We attract a girl that uh, that isn't available and a girl that like hammers us when we do wrong. I had that when I was 22. I learned my lesson so good I never had to repeat it again. Walking around on eggshells. Oh no, I don't want to upset her. You know, that's that's the thing. That's the counterpart to this <clears throat> to this addiction that some guys have when they they're so addicted to female attention and energy they end up attracting a woman that's gonna like not give it to them that's the irony so then they get unsatisfied and they go to massage parlors prostitutes etc or chat rooms yeah the world's getting advanced now with this technology Japan has some some girl robots you can buy I mean yeah I'm interested to see how this uh, this is all gonna play out 
anything, anything like that can be anything except get your um, your worth and joy from inside. It's like the the world will, will create. There's so many diversions because the market is so huge for that. Nobody wants to do the inner work. They just don't want to do it. And so society says, okay, I got something for you. Got a nice female robot. And, and that's just going to keep getting more and more advanced to where, you know. But those beings, and I feel there's a lot on this channel that somehow you're higher level like you just know that's not where it's at you're, you're too much in touch with your own your own consciousness and your consciousness is like no nah, man this isn't the way i just can't do that I, I gotta do the inner work so this is who the videos are for you know and so what coming back to the the, the topic how, how to because they they asked me oh and then another guy this was good he said um he said you know he did what I did when I was 20, <laughs> when I read uh, Swami Shivananda's book. And he says, just look at the ground. Just keep your eyes on the ground. Yeah, that never, that aesthetic type thinking never worked for me. I don't, I've never seen it work for anybody. It's okay to do a few weeks just to get some, you know, come back to ground zero a little bit. If someone's so addicted and spent so much time projecting their attention outside themselves okay take take some time off and just look down but ultimately that's not going to work and this is what this guy was saying he's like man i feel the energy it just keeps building up i'm trying not to look at them but in my mind i'm looking at them it's actually worse i create more stress trying to not look at them than if i just you know somehow be natural so he figured out that 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 wasn't the way you can't run from this stuff yeah i figured that out too so what do you do? You have to get in touch with your inner power. That's the only thing that can beat this thing. You, we don't have <clears throat> the, the horsepower, the mental horsepower in our mind to overcome such deep rooted biological tendencies. Not on this subtle level. You might be able to stop watching porn and masturbating, which is a big feat, by the way, that's a big deal. But when you start getting into this more subtle stuff, the edging and the fantasies and, you know, and trying to get uh, attraction from women, particularly if you didn't get much of that when you were growing up, you're gonna need some help. You're gonna need some power. You get that from inside. And that's why I made these other channels. Transcending Shadows is a good intermediate spiritual channel. And then I have my, you can say, um, more advanced spiritual channel, uh, Spiritual Renaissance. That's why I made them. They're all part of the package, you know? Because I can't share everything on this channel. The algorithm doesn't understand. The algorithm doesn't understand this level of talk e anyway, either. Uh, I just want to make sure I didn't miss nothing. <clears throat> the other thing is, it's a downward spiral. It's a, it's a circle of, of, like, problems, how this works. This is what I'm saying, though. When we're... Why do we get? Why do? Why are we seeking so much, obsessing about this female attraction? Because in attention, because of of a feeling of, of self, uh, low self worth. This is why. Otherwise, if you're good, you're just you're just not. You're going to be giving. You're not going to be trying to take. When we're trying to get girls to look at us and give us attention, we're trying to extract energy. We're trying to take their energy. We need energy. Why? Because we're not getting it from our own inner reservoir. When you're when you're when you're self-contained, when that inner faucet has turned on and you're getting energy from your, from your own inner source <clears throat> because it's not being blocked and obstructed by a bunch of bad habits and addictions, etc. When that starts dripping, <laughs> when you start <clears throat> having your own uh, experience of your own inner energy, you're not going to be trying to take it from uh, anything actually but we're talking about girls you're not going to be trying to get them to give you attention if anything you're going to be in overflow and so you're going to be giving them attention but in a in a in a, a sober balanced way you're not giving them attention so that then you can it's it's not a bartering thing i'm going to give you attention so then you can give me some attention no you're appreciating the female of of in in, in her natural form her nature I made a video about that, which is what I told this guy that said he realized it wasn't the way 
to overcome this by just looking at the ground. I said, no, you got to respect the power of the female. It's God's power. Don't don't give it's not her, her personal power. It's it's creation. Life is is miraculous with what it does. That's what you're revering. You're giving respect to that. That's how you beat it. That's how you no, don't beat it, but that's how you transcend it. You give respect to the creation of the universe, creating the female energy. And then you pray, you be open, you be willing to let this inner guidance and wisdom guide you. It just has to be like that because like the mind's not powerful enough. The problem is in the mind. That's where the problem is. That's where the lust is. That's where the low self-worth is. We got to go beyond, beyond human level. And beyond human level is inside this human. That's fortunate. All right. Have a good day. I'm going to make another video before it gets too hot. I'm already hot. Can you tell? I'll see you.